the Whiskey Brothers. Welcome to the Whiskey Brothers Podcast, episode 1053. <laughs> They'll listen, but they'll be confused. <laughs> I was trying to figure out why you thought he didn't. Bill <laughs> Thrip. <laughs> oh, I like that y'all come in so late to the story, dear listeners. Uh, we are the Whiskey Brothers, Sladeham, Jerry Wayne Longmire, Woo. Sam Damaris, Trey Tutson, Chicken, Simmering on the Grill in the back. It is a good day to be Whiskey Brothers. I haven't poured anything. That's why you got to talk to black women, though. Uh, (laughs) Because if you slap them, they'll just fight you back. (laughs) (laughs) Stole charges, you know what I mean? You got to get a Puerto Rican. Oh, Puerto Rican, yeah. Nobody goes to jail, you just need ice. (laughs) (laughs) Guess what? With Puerto Rican girls, you also need ice. (laughs) Women of color. Maybe stitches. Maybe stitches. Maybe (laughs) stitches. No, no, ice yeah, the yeah, organization. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Come get this bitch. Oh, yo, uh, hey, yo, that clap and everything, the slap, that's all too strong to keep to yourself. <laughs> it was a good <laughs> opening slate. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you need the audio for it, so I tried to put some fucking oomph into it. Yeah, well, it uh, it felt it. Yeah. You guys have no <laughs> idea what the fuck we're talking about. They know exactly what we're talking about. We're they talking about better in your dating life or whatever. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you cheers, need somebody you can slap. You guys should uh, pour. You pour it up. You're drinking? Um, we're drinking the, some, the some of the strand yeah. It's I good stuff. This is the single malt. Strandy. I'll drink. I drink a, lo- a lot. Where were you? You, were just, you just finished up a festival we, here in Houston. Yeah, it did, did the Riot Festival. How that was, was that? Just, that was a lot of fun. It was, it was, it was, you know, it's new. So it was, it was good to see something like that was, you know, you could see it as an embryo and then it it, go, it does this big I like thing how everybody finds the most politely way of saying not very well attended <laughs> no it was fine <laughs> was it was yeah, it good it was fine uh the only thing i mean was Sunday it was better fun. or less attended than the last comedy festival that happened in this town uh but moderately the same really the same, but this is the first okay. one i so, thought it was gonna be a blowout compared to that no 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 it was uh it was it was good and good. Uh, a lot of good comics and it was a good time. Uh, nice. I, I mean, I felt good because I got the my show was the closeout show. The interruption was a closeout show. Oh, really? It's supposed to be like a party thing, but it was, dude. It was so taxing. Like uh, one, the weather shocked all of us because it ended up it being nice. hotter. Than, it was nice, but it ended up being like way hotter, you know, than it than it than, it, uh, than everybody had predicted. And uh, and uh, it was a good time because you know festivals bring mushrooms. <laughs> and and that was a good vibe. We got it was like just everybody was on mushrooms, so it was a it was a good vibe. Nothing nothing crazy. Did and, anybody uh, have a like trip out set where they just sort of got lost up there? No, I know that uh, tends to happen sometimes with we had so one we, we did a live podcast and uh they were like kind of doing some Ted Cruz jokes mm-hmm. and there was a dude bubbling. And he was saying to the lady next to him, like, they got one more Ted Cruz joke. And I'm on. And then he just yelled out, all right, let me know when the joke start. You know, like that type. And they was like, what's up, man? You a big fan of Ted Cruz? <laughs> Huge fan. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> this dude's a nut. Like, spirit to who is out here rooting show? for politicians? Oh, Montrose. Yeah. <laughs> Montrose. yeah. So, Bro, how did you get here? <laughs> uh, but I end up like, that's why I said I drank so much. I just, I lost my voice just. Just feeling optimistic on mushrooms, like just 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 <laughs> floating in euphoria, screaming at people, telling people you don't love, you love them, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That type they of worked. thing, which is why they need to be in church heavily. That's they need to be. They, every officer on the planet should have to dose once That's a month. Really funny, yeah. I, I would be just to cleanse them, just to re-snow their hill. Yeah, <laughs> because uh, it's a, it's. I came back to. I came back to the most dramatic. We used to talk about re-snowing our hill back when I did cocaine, but I think that means something That's different. different. <laughs> what you're saying? <laughs> you, no, I not like that. I, mean, I love re snowing my hill back in. Officers? Yes, police officers. Yeah, oh, that'd be dope. that like, would be the best. Hey man, you got one headlight out, but the one that's on is fucking <laughs> awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, hey. where did you buy that? <laughs> hey, hey, damn. He go to Frisky, he just gives you a hug. Oh, You're like, yeah, you know what, dude? Just bring it in. Bring it in. <laughs> He's calling his backups for the light show. <laughs> yes. That's a- <laughs> I'll pay you that. That's a nice gun. Where'd you get that gun? That's a nice gun. I like it. Want to see mine? <laughs> 
Yeah. You know what? We should trade. We should trade guns. You take my gun. I'll take yours. Yeah, this is the first time I think a dog's going to make this situation better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Go get the dog. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's, uh, I, I was, I've been gone for a couple of weeks. I came straight back to Houston Airport and I, I walked out of Terminal E into the hellscape that is traffic trying to pick up people. And it's, it was run by three cops who were the biggest ass. I don't know. Yeah. I, I don't Ugh. know. I mean, I, by the time you've been assigned to traffic duty at IAH, you probably I, did something to somebody you know already. A hundred percent. This is after you've planted drugs on people. This is every one of those cops has killed at least three black people. On, I guarantee yeah. you. Or they do <laughs> shrooms <laughs> once a month. <laughs> <laughs> no, because these were the angriest people I've ever. I, I watched. I, I talk about this on my podcast, so you get the whole uh-huh. details there. But the I watched this. I heard before I saw the the voice. Go, go where you belong. Oh, dang. I heard that voice, and I thought for a second it might have been me he was yelling at, and uh-huh. I just turned around ready to, bitch, I belong. No, nah, you know? he meant yeah. Africa. It, no, it was an, I don't know where he wanted the guy to go, but the dude had to be 89, like liver spotted, <laughs> oh, bald, just lost in the fucking road. <laughs> just, you know, like he's, I think I see my wife, but I got to get closer. <laughs> like that's who, he, he, so he wanders out towards what looks like his vehicle, and it is. Yeah, it's her. It, they yeah. connect, and you're like, God damn it, he followed the breadcrumbs. I, I would have lost money, but he he makes it out there, and then this cop, because there's two empty spaces in front of her. Oh, okay, I got sends you. Sends the old man back ah! across the road, <laughs> like all the way back. Go where you belong, but she's right there. Where you belong, sir? And then she, this poor woman, has to pull up. And then once the guy's salmoned his way up through the people, he gets back <laughs> over to the car. And then the same cop yells, get your fucking kids out of the road. Oh, my God. To a, this poor woman Ooh. was straight off the Salvadorian plane. Like oh like chicken under the arm. Ooh, yeah. So she had a blue and white shaw. What were you doing there? And that's <laughs> <laughs> chicken under the arm. <laughs> Put me down, lady. Uh, <laughs> the she she had it, you it was just it was the colors, right? Mm. And I just you could tell and she had three little kids in tow and nobody spoke. She's got a day. Yeah. She's confused. Yeah. Man. She she's got, got here from there. I've done that shit. Yeah. It's hard. Mm. And you did it, and you got off the plane. You stumble out into this Texas sun, lost <laughs> a little bit. You think you see your ride, and you just... And then some just mean dude in wraparound sunglasses <laughs> and those fucking shorts, like he's a South Park character, and he's just red-faced the with the goatee and the... Uh, see, this is the thing. A badge, uh, <clears throat> a badge equals no filter. Any, anywhere big true. in public like that, what do we all hate? Old people and kids. It's <laughs> 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 not a joke. That's the God's honest truth. You walk into a mall. I, I'm trying to walk around and there's fucking old people holding hands. I can't get around them. And then this bitch has got 18 fucking kids. But all of us just go, you know what? Hey, man, this woman's got, she's got a hard time. She's got to deal with fucking 18 Salvadorian kids. And he like, and that dude's 89. His hips don't work. And we all, we all let it fucking slide. That's but a badge means I don't fucking let shit slide. Right. And he, he's fucking, able to scream freely yeah, like that. Yeah. Dick. Well, and he's, he's just mad because he's there. <laughs> I get it. I he's stuck there too. too. <laughs> I was a prison guard for a while, and I remember I was like, "Oh, this is kind of a cool job." Until I realized <laughs> I'm stuck here too. <laughs> yeah, this sucks. <laughs> Wait, I can't just leave when I want to. What the fuck? <laughs> well, I want to smoke a cigarette. I got wait. I get off work. Fuck you. I'm an inmate. That's so yeah. true. Yeah, yeah. the prison, the, just... the guards are prisoners. It was an inmate with a badge. You know what that gets you? <laughs> Ass whipped <laughs> <laughs> and a paycheck. That's, that's just it, right there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, more than eleven cents a license plate. <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> Not in Louisiana. Uh, <laughs> no, no. Oh that's my god! Right He's stuck <laughs> there. Filter gone. Like us, we got to deal with that shit for thirty minutes. Like, all right, let the old people, let the kids slide. But it's somebody who's thirty, who's blocking, who's jamming you up, or whatever. Yeah. I, I'm not above kept cussing that motherfucker out at an airport, you know. But it's, it's I, your I job. Like, it's just your job to bring peace to this. Your job is to be a peacekeeper yes. in this nightmare yes. scenario. Call peace officers. I, I want to see him yell at the self-unaware lady that walks through 
the double doors that open and stops right there to look at her fucking phone. Yeah. Oh. And so she goes, leave the old man alone, but get this heifer. <laughs> you know what I mean? Do you know what I do? Um, I do that. If you, if you stop in front of me to look at your phone, or if people are walking towards me and they're looking at their phone. This and is whatever, my favorite game. I don't move. You don't move. I, 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 I hockey, I run crusty. He's seen me do it in fucking in the Middle East. I will just, boom, I'm bigger than yeah, you. Yeah, and yeah. I will, I will, but, and then when you look up, you go, what? I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. I was looking at my phone. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, no, I've done that. it. I my walk, favorite I game. Clean. I've done it at the grocery store. Too. It's to say, <laughs> I scare people. So I just go, boo, and, and just watch them. That's, fun. Fun. Oh That's my, my God. favorite thing that. to do in the world is to scare people. That you imagine like Trey doing that you, and you turn around, and there's nobody there. Yeah. You're like, I'm so small. <laughs> but sometimes, right, and if, fast. I'm line, <laughs> if I'm walking in a straight line, you're coming at me. If I'm feeling nice, I will just yell, I'm not moving. Yeah. And when they look up, they're walking towards me. I'm just like, I'm not moving. Yeah. I'm like, I'm going in a straight line. You're on your phone. But especially couples that walk side by side at a uh, like airport or train station. Single file, fucker. Male or female, <laughs> whichever one's in front of me. I'm yeah. coming straight for you. Hold I'm hands in your fucking food. Uber. Do not do that shit. I'm in love, <laughs> too, public. motherfucker. We walk behind each other like elephants. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't got a tail for her to hold, but if I did, she'd hold it. You know? <laughs> And if you're bigger than me, I will duck my shoulder like Earl Campbell. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. I'm coming in. <laughs> I do the last second, the last second juke. I wait till no, I, okay. you will take your fucking carry-on bag and you will shift that motherfucker. He can flick his hips and make his carry-on bag jump three feet to one side, and he will get you right in the fucking kneecap. I can't get you like oh, that. Oh, you're worse than I am. Well, because you can you can bounce it off your ankle. And it, it'll off your heel, yeah. and it'll jump. And I, I, see, I see, yeah, it's, I see the move. You can yeah. get it, but I like if I don't have if I don't have luggage, I like to just I'll walk straight at, and then at the last second, like we'll do the we'll almost brush yeah. each other, and I'll give you a look alive, sunshine, and then I'll just peel off. Y'all are wild. And like for in making. like Italy, in the Middle East, uh, these motherfuckers when they start boarding, they'll just come, you be standing there, and they'll just come right up, whatever. Boy, Slade has that carry-on bag, and he whips it around to the front of him, and you just hear the wheels go clank down as loud as fuck, and they're they're, they're coming to the side, and he'll move it to hand, and just boom, put it right in front of you. And I'm like, I my other move. I'm like, I just do it with my body. And I'm yeah. just like, <laughs> and these these fucking young cats in Abu Dhabi, they were just, I fucking moved, and they were like, they just kept moving forward, inching forward. And I turned, I looked the dude right in his fucking eyeballs. Didn't say a word. <laughs> And then they're like, okay, now boarding group. And he still started walking. And then it's just boom. And I'm looking dead at his face. Just like, dude, what part of this makes you think? <laughs> what, 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 what part? Like, if, if you really want to get after I'm like, I'm over here on military orders. I will just, I will scream, terrorist. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's over. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, somebody will come and get me. I'll be at the end now of the day. Now I'm going to get body checked by some big dude in Abu Dhabi <laughs> because he's still mad at Sam. <laughs> well, he's, nah. he's white. I can take him. Yeah. No, he hates Jamaicans now. <laughs> he hates all Jamaicans. Y'all wild for making contact. I don't make. I don't make. I come con- close. No, no, no. I'm saying it, with any with touch. The bag. I don't make contact with anybody active. That's why I'm. I'm kind of with the cop. I'll yell at kids and old people. Cause uh, what are you gonna do? So okay. <laughs> <laughs> You just gonna be old and a child, <laughs> but anybody active, anybody with real good blood flowing through their body. So this is my second. <laughs> this is this is what I'm trying to resolve, and it's coming to this. Um, okay. So I get home, I deal with these cops, then I go. I got this grocery store up the street, right? Okay. And We've heard bef- about it before. Before. <laughs> before now, we had reached a. We don't ask me about my backpack, and I don't steal shit from you. I come in here six times a week. We just have an understanding. Yeah. Well, apparently, I've been off the streets for two weeks. Yeah. And I came back. The first thing I did was go there. And I've got this backpack that is, you can wad it up and stick it in my pocket. Wow. Right? Yeah. It's paper thin. And I go in, and I've got my headphones in. I don't think anything of it. I walk in. I'm about to go through the produce section. And a hand grabs my shoulder. Like, yeah. And I turn around. And it's the security guard. Like, hey, hey, hey. And I don't know the rules, but you can't just touch people, just right? Touch people, yeah. Okay. So I just and I just said, hey man, don't touch me. Mm-hmm. He goes, You gotta take your backpack off. And I go, bro, I'm buying cereal 
and, and, and that's it. Like, literally going to get a box of cereal. Man, that's it. all you should have to say. Anybody coming in to buy cereal ain't stealing shit. Of course not. <laughs> that's- so now I go, and I, I buy, he's walking behind me and this and that. And I come back out, and I finally, I, here's my conversation. I go, look. I go, this is my backpack. I go, let's figure out the solution. And he goes, you can't bring a backpack in here. And I go, well, I'm going to bring this backpack in here, right? I don't have a... I'm not leaving it tied to my bike. Yeah. I'm not <laughs> right. giving it to you because I don't trust you. You don't trust me. I clearly don't trust. We have a mutual yeah. mistrust. Mm-hmm. I go, so I can take this backpack and I can shove it down my pants every time I come in here. Mm-hmm. And then all of your customers can watch me pull my bag out of my pants at the <laughs> register. I go, or I can just go buy my shit mm-hmm. and I can just go ring it up. You mm-hmm. don't have a checker working here. You gonna unplug this machine? <laughs> I go. I'm just gonna buy my shit, man. You can't do something. Yeah. <laughs> and that's where we left it. Yeah. And I walked through, and I bought my stuff, and he's standing there glaring the whole time. And we reached zero conclusion other than tomorrow I'm gonna either have to go shove my bag down my pants, yeah, or, or go do this parade again. Yeah. <laughs> but. Don't grab me by the shoulder, bro. That's 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 where that's you're, where. You're is this a little... theft thing? I don't know. Or it's a mass be. shooter thing? Because I don't want to say the obvious. But you <laughs> fit a fucking description. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you look like you would turn a hat backwards, and there would be a tragedy at this grocery store. Yeah, you store. know, like tall, tall, like the white guy walks in. I'm, I'm more afraid of one of those I'm just than the saying. other. So. <laughs> You can have the box of cereal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's the angle I'm seeing. I mean, I, obviously, don't talk to nobody. I didn't even go there, but, yeah. Just but yeah. tell me that then so I yeah. can bring a more suspicious backpack. A backpack? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I've got dynamite painted yeah. on my back. <laughs> Should be one with wires hanging out of yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. See, this is why Hello really loud Kitty is all over my shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They don't know the. You want to hold my bag? You hold my bag. That's the, <laughs> you guys, you guys yeah. told me I had to leave this at the security station. I'm gonna sit this right here. It's got a, now just, just. It's got nothing but it's right a, there. It's alarm okay. clock <laughs> and a couple of paper towel tubes. Oh, I think I just forgot my wallet. I'm gonna go outside real quick. Find a find a ticking clock on Spotify and turn that shit all the way up. Sit down, bro. Hold my bag. You guys told me I had to leave it at the stand. Holy shit, that's so much better than me dressing up like an actual backpack. Yeah. This was my next play. I was yeah. just- I, I like you. Slade wearing a fucking gin sport for yeah, a thong. It's really <laughs> funny. Just show up like a minor league mascot. <laughs> Just cut you some leg holes in and <laughs> pull it up and zip it up as high as you can get it. <laughs> so it in there. The, remember the coffee shop that he went to like on Sundays? They said no laptops or whatever, but like you, you can sit there with a tablet. My laptop is one of those ones that folds all the way over. So I told him, I was like, next Sunday, I'm going there. I'm just going to sit with my laptop. When they come over, I'm just going to fold it over and go, it's a tablet, bitch. And he told me not to do it. I'm like, king of revenge himself is like, bro, don't do that. I'm like, what? I'm what? trying to be more civilized. Okay. I'm trying. Yeah. It's <laughs> making it hard. Yeah, I know. I'm going to dress up as a whole black what a What a weird, arbitrary <laughs> yeah. rule, How though. Civil you can't have that? a laptop, but you can have a tablet. It's ridiculous. That was when I got thrown out of Toot Sweet for, for violating their brunch rules. I oh, stumble okay. into this shit. It's well, certainly any place me. has got brunch rolls. It's I agree. not fit for me. Not you, but not <laughs> yeah, able to use a laptop in the corner of a coffee shop on a Sunday morning just that's violates insane. all the my The fuck principles. did y'all open a coffee shop for? Uh, it's the spirit no again. laptop, <laughs> but tablets. Yes. Phones that's and tablets hot. are okay, but it's the keyboard, I think, that makes it. Because it's so loud? Because it's useful. Because people... <laughs> <You're> right. <laughs> exactly. Who, that, might, who messed it up? You might who, sit here and accomplish something. <laughs> that, yeah. well, that's the thing. That. Jesus said you're not supposed to work on Sundays. Yeah. That's a day of rest. And so you over here in the corner doing work while other people are trying to rest and have emotions. <laughs> Who came in with the surround sound yeah, keyboard? Yeah. Somebody was typing gamer. so loud yeah. that it must have been a gamer. Some yeah. set Fortnite played Diablo with surround sound. It, and it had to be something and... wild like that where somebody was just like, yo, all right, those rules typing come from too somewhere. loud. Like, yeah. There were six nerds having a Fortnite tournament in a circle, <laughs> like and they all sat at six one tops because they didn't want anybody to see their screen. Stop calling us Fortnite players nerds. You better stop saying <laughs> that. Shit. No, any not of, all of them. Not if all any of them. you in the audience play, reach out. I'll put, I will Only play. the good not ones are nerds. Them, <laughs> 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 you bad at Fortnite. You just a gamer. Not 
everyone who plays Call of Duty is a fucking nerd. But you know that there are those motherfuckers That's who are who bit up for nine yeah, yeah, hours. Yeah, yeah, like, what's going yeah. on with you? Yeah, what's, what's happening? Dude, with you? I know dope motherfuckers yeah, who I play just, World of Warcraft. I just didn't think they went places. <laughs> Oh, well, yeah, well, well, they can all meet up in person. Places. At some point, your mother goes, "Get out of the basement and go get some sunlight." Yeah, and you just relocate, <laughs> and then they show up dressed like a backpack. <laughs> <laughs> Call back. <laughs> and when I dress up like a backpack, yeah. you should know this: I'm stealing Dog. so much shit from Dog. that. Yeah. that Dog. You ain't, you ain't got a hair on your ass if you don't dress up as one of them clear backpacks. <laughs> <laughs> To go to a sporting event? Oh my God! Clear back policy. <laughs> Tell me I can't get in. <laughs> you can see my weapons. <laughs> I just came from Kroger. That's why I got six rotisserie yeah, chickens. That's so funny! Oh my God! A clear backpack. Put a big piece of summer sausage where your dick would go. <laughs> I'm shopping. <laughs> Pepperidge Farm, and then deny it summer sausage. You're like, sir, you can't bring summer sausage. Here. Oh, that ain't that ain't summer sausage. <laughs> I'm off. Won't you rich off man. in there and grab it? <laughs> <laughs> I like. Uh, man, I just like. I've been really fascinated with pranks, but like really thought out, uh-huh. almost like writer room type of stuff, like this type yeah. of thing. Because like, Nathan the, for you style pranks. That, I, he, that's I one mean, of the best he, shows. He, I've won, ever a, seen. he won a lot of awards. He should have. Uh, no, you seen the rehearsal? The, the rehearsal. I, that is amazing. A, that's one of the most. What's a, I didn't okay, see so uh, Nathan, uh, what is his last name? He, there's a Canadian the comedian his last name. who did a show oh, called Nathan for You, mm-hmm. and it's okay. it's spectacular. Where he he approached businesses under the premise of helping them do better, and then his oh, the, the things he did were outlandish. For fake instance, Starbucks. Fake. That's the famous one. He went into a yeah. coffee shop, said, "Here's what we're gonna do. <laughs> we're gonna rebrand everything," and he rebranded it as Fake Starbucks. So it's the Starbucks logo. It's everything with the word fake right next Real to it. Small. The cups are the same. The, the logo's the same. The storefront is the same. He built a Starbucks, but then put fake in small print. And this goes into a lawsuit, and it turns into this whole nasty thing. But it's it's a television show, and it's brilliantly done. Yeah. He has a second show called The Rehearsal. Now, it's the basic premise. You can correct me on this. I did watch it. Yeah. Is that he believes that any scenario, if you rehearse it enough, you can work through all of the variables and figure out the outcome in advance. So in one instance, he brings this guy who's, I guess, going through going to break up with no. a girl. <coughs> this girl, the, uh, I believe the first guy is he he uh, lied to everyone and, and said he was getting his he was getting a, a, a master's degree. But he was actually getting his bachelor's degree, and it was these people he had been hanging around for a while. Yes. So he wants to tell this girl that he's been hanging with that. Hey, I when I said I was getting my master's degree, I was actually getting my bachelor's because people were sending him jobs, and he's like, they're not hiring me, and it's yeah. and it's becoming a thing, but it's because he doesn't have. So imagine the, all the of us and one of us <laughs> telling you, one of us for the last however long under the pretense yeah, that we won. One, one of you being like, I got an associate's degree, and we're yeah. like, no, you didn't. Yeah, so you didn't even graduate from high school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. The, so it's that. So he goes through this rehearsal process of hiring actors to play all of the people in these scenarios and bringing the guy in and having him run through all of these different things. And he recreates the bar that they have their happy hour in down to the last detail. I mean, it's really yes. impressive. Yes. And you assume that the show is going to work under this premise for another six episodes. And it proceeds to go so goddamn meta Alice in Wonderland mushroom trip off the rails I don't still know what I saw I by the time it. it was yeah. done. Uh, yeah, yeah. Be sold on. Really I can't good. tell you that it's great or good or no, perfect. but I want to check it out it just for the. Uh, so unbelievable. Just for the spectacle. Yeah. What's what's a prank that y'all pulled? So I oh man, Ooh. this is a good question because you I, I oh, I've done the fake uh broke broke the TV thing. Mm-hmm. Where you go on YouTube and it's just a shattered screen ah. and you have I have a video of that of of. of Pranking Shay with that, her walking in and just going bananas. It's like my dad's favorite video. That's hysterical. That I've done that, but I like like silly stuff now. That's what it's got my brain like worked up in that. Cause I was at a, I told y'all this. I was at Smoothie King, got a smoothie, and I was just sitting, and this guy had this gigantic dog. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh, that's a nice dog. And I just sat my smoothie down, and I went over, and I just like mounted his dog, <laughs> and just started going. And the dude was like. Bro, what the hell are you doing? Like, it's just <laughs> like, 
It's like I like doing stuff like how they doing in Practical Jokers, but yeah. without an earpiece. I just right. I just start You're giving your own orders. Yeah, I just mm-hmm. give my own orders, and I did that. I, I I like doing stuff like that. Mountain mountain nice. huge dogs and stuff. <laughs> Funny to me to just try to ride it. Well, when you're Trey Tuttle's size, you can. I yeah. do that now. Owe somebody that yeah, knows for a the lot dog. of dollars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, yeah, I yeah. broke your yeah. dog's back. I, ne- I never did much pranking stuff. I did one when I was younger, when my papa Clark was trying to quit smoking. He smoked them Camel uh, filterless cigarettes, uh-huh. and we thought we were being funny because my granny was always hollering at him when she'd catch him smoking out there. I said, "Well, we'll get his attention." So we took one of the cigarettes and we put some of the stuff out of a black cat. Uh huh. Firework in there, you know the gunpowder. Where you know you rip oh, it open, snap. and it didn't blow up. It just went <laughs> right in yep. his face, but it caught his beard on fire, and he had to like hop, put it out real quick. And then I got my ass tore up, and I decided I wasn't into pranking. Bro, I feel like <laughs> that's fucked. I feel like beards in your family are like Viking armbands. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, you messed up something. Yeah, yeah. Heritage. It was not good, bro. It was. Not, <laughs> I, mean, I, I got a, seven years. I, I got an ass rest. whooping right there in the gravel driveway where it happened, oh. and I was like, so I've just never been into pranks. That's it was like, oh, that doesn't feel fun. When I first moved out of Mama's house, I was uh, staying with my buddy Thomas, and we had a two bedroom apartment. His room's on this side, my room's on this side. Uh, his birthday, we take him out, we get him fucked. And I uh, just get him fucked up. He's puking out the side of my car, whatever. Uh, put him in bed, wake up the next day. It's noon. He's still out. Um, but I am hungover. So I went to his door frame yeah. and I coded from side to side in duct tape. Okay. And then I went to the smoke alarm and I lit a cigarette and I started blowing in it. And the smoke alarm went off in the fucking apartment and he gets up. Comes running out, flings open the door, runs out, and rot, mummified. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> mummified and duct tape. <laughs> we, we and that's did, my favorite one I ever pulled out. <laughs> we, we did do one. Me and my brother had this friend that he was having problems with coke and shit, and he quit doing it. And he had kept himself straight for like a month or so, and it was his girl's birthday party, and we we're all going to drink, get fucked. It was at our house, and everybody's getting drunk, and he his. Our friend, he got drunk and passed out because he didn't have no cocaine, to, you know, <laughs> keep him awake. Right. So we thought it would be funny. We went and got gold bond powder and sprinkled it all under his nose and shit and rubbed it all around here. Like, so when he'd wake up, go to the bathroom, he'd think he fucked up and did cocaine. Oh, he, he, so we heard him go oh, in the bathroom is... and he hollered and then he started hollering at his wife and then they got their shit and they left. And dude wouldn't return my phone calls for like a week. And then I talked to his wife. He thought we teabagged him. <laughs> and he thought we had Polaroids of him getting tea with balls. Oh, I was man. like, no, we were trying to make you think you did the cocaine. I know what ball powder smells like, yeah. Jerry Wayne. I know you probably use a lot of it. I know what happened. My brother immediately is like, man, we should have teabagged him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that so where I got that prank was like when we were eight. I was in a fucking Cub Scouts. And... uh we we went. What camping. badge is this? <laughs> <laughs> Dickhead badge. Uh, Get your ass kicked out of Troop One Forty One we badge. Yeah. <laughs> so we had these we had these cabins, and the cabins like there was one troop here. We were uh, two sixty six, and then there was another one that was over here, and then there was a rec room in the middle. But the whole thing was fucking tile, right? So what our troop did was, in front of their door out of there, we all took our shampoo and shit, and we just laid it all over the tile. And then one of us went into theirs while they were all sleeping and just like, there's a fucking snake in here. There's a snake. And everybody got up and ran out. And he just got to watch them all slip. And <laughs> wah, 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 wah. it was like a fucking 14 car pile up. Oh and so we were like, OK, yeah, create an emergency. Put something at the door. And when this motherfucker was still asleep the day after his birthday, I was like, well, we got carpet. I can't do the shampoo or whatever. And I was like, I got to get this motherfucker somehow. And I don't remember what we had done, but like there was a roll of duct tape on the fucking coffee table. And that's when it came to me. I was like, oh, I'm just going to get this motherfucker. You guys went Inglorious Bastards before Inglorious Bastards. Right? (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, we were eight. (laughs) We we put these motherfuckers. Yes. We had a kid named Trey in our Boy Scout troop. That we were all out at Booth Ranch, which is like windy and kind of flat. By the way, that was my name when I was And he was a mean little son of a bitch. He was always starting shit. And he went around and he unstaked everybody's tent. And about about lunchtime, you just see all these pop tents going across the field. (laughs) 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 And then my dad, who's a scoutmaster at the time, made us all go pick him up because nobody would rat on Trey. Of course. (laughs) I was was thinking of this. You talking about getting your, your ass whooped for a prank. We my my cousin that passed away. It was tight. 
we, I don't know why we did, but we just <laughs> we decided we hid all my uh we didn't want to go to church that Sunday. So we hid all my grandmother's wigs. <laughs> right? <laughs> my grandmother has severe alopecia, right? So we hid all, all we hid all the wigs, right? Oh well, so, people get their ass whooped over alopecia. I don't yeah. know if you heard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That is a bit of a sensitive, hot subject. <laughs> Keep my grandma's name. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, it's fair. So we had, uh, you know, we hit all the wigs everywhere. And uh, my grandmother's fully dressed and waiting. We're, we're like, man, we're not going. Like, we don't have to go. If she, don't, she, if she, don't, she ain't got a wig, she, we ain't going. So we're just sitting there waiting, man. And she's going crazy. I mean, none of them. You just hear her screaming. They're not on a mannequin. They're not anywhere. But man, I don't know why she like she went to check like in the washroom, and we like hid one like behind the washer and dryer. She could just kind of see it. Y'all didn't put them in one good we place. You all- Easter egg hunted yeah, them. We- God yeah. damn, that's, that's not- genius. That's no, <laughs> no. no. She no. might find one, but it might not be the one she wants. No, <laughs> no, no, no. It's church. All she needs is one. All she yeah. needs is one. Enough to go see the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's it. But we had hit it, and then when she found it, she found the wig, and then called my cousin, and he, man, he would fold so quick. Oh, no. He wow. would fold quick, man. Like, cause she, she was angry. She never would yell or nothing like that. Us, but she was angry. So she went in there. She found it. It's an hour of wigs got dust and detergent. Like it's got, it's, it's, oh, you know, it's back there. Back there. So it's all messed up it's and everything. Nook. So we didn't messed up her wig. <laughs> so, so then she was like, so then he told, well, we didn't want to go to church, and so we hit him and da da. So then she made us like basically find all the wigs. And then my cousin's mom would die ass. So the and you yeah. went to and church. And then my dad kicked my oh, ass. Oh, she outsourced the ass whooping. Yes, yeah, so she, she didn't even do it. No, she didn't do it. My aunt, my aunt kicked her ass. And then, and then when I got home, well, I got to go see Jesus, ass. but she but was, was like y'all lifting up. up sofas. And like, we had hit them at, like yeah. everywhere. Did, that, y'all, the, did y'all end up going to church? Yeah, we had to go to church I with our ass whooped. I know. Yes, sit on that hard ass pew. And then dad got you again after church. And then my dad got me after that. But then he laughed. He would always be like, come here. I mean, y'all hit all the wigs. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he thought Why about it. You hide like, all the wigs. Then like, the next week, your cousin's like, hey, let's go steal this. No, no. I'm do not doing this. shit with you. Nothing no. with you because we get caught. What'd you learn about your cousin today, boy? He's got a lot of bitch in him. Yeah, Don't yeah, trust yeah. him. <laughs> <laughs> Remember <Yeah>. that. <laughs> yeah, a lot he of was, bitch. Hey, man, yeah, let me yeah. tell you. If I was, uh, when I was a kid, if I was in on the dirty shit or whatever, I, I was an iron trap. My mouth never... Open, yeah. but we were at a uh, Lakewood Church, and uh, these fucking these white boys were in the in the parking lot, and they were stealing Mercedes hood emblems, right? And I wasn't out there with them or whatever, because I was still I was a kid, but I'd already started smoking, mm-hmm. so I was just hiding around trying to smoke, and then these motherfuckers get Who's picked nine up. Nine year old Sam when, <laughs> when, <laughs> when they get picked up. Yeah, I knew the kids. I knew they were going to do it. And I was like, yeah, I ain't doing that shit. Whatever, fuck it. I just want to smoke a cigarette. Because um, I, I had done acid the night before, so I was not feeling too great. And, uh, and then when they got picked up. Sorry, acid. I guess he was they, 10. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I, I, I'm trying to do the math, too, in my head. Go ahead and finish, dog. Because I got several questions. When they fucking got picked up, they're bringing them in. And then they were like, you too. And I was like, what the fuck? <gasps> I was like, the fuck? Because I was a black kid who's standing out here in the parking lot. <laughs> And they're like, you too. And they, they pulled it. And I'm looking at these dudes because they're like, oh, we didn't do shit. We didn't do shit. But they got the M's in their, pocket, in their pockets. Yeah. And I'm looking at them, waiting for them to do the right thing and just be like, hey, man, it is, was just us. He yeah. wasn't with us. He was out here smoking cigarettes. And we're all getting pulled in. We're all getting pulled in. And they were like, all right, where are your parents sitting? Because they, they had cameras in the big ass church. They're like, where are your parents sitting? We're going to get all your parents. And I looked at them boys one more time. I'm like, <laughs> and they was like, "Yeah, no, I mean, we didn't do anything. He was, he was with us, but oh, I was with y'all." All right, look, here's the thing. I went out to go smoke. These two motherfuckers. I met them in the bathroom, <laughs> and they said they were gonna go hit these fucking cars and get these emblems. I ain't get shit. Matter of fact, y'all got so many damn cameras. You, you can see where I walked out, and I went over there. This is my little hiding spot where I go smoke cigarettes. Now here's the thing, cause I didn't steal nothing. Do me a favor. I ain't, I ain't fuck up nobody's shit. How about you not tell my parents I'm smoking cigarettes? <laughs> because I didn't cause no damage. I didn't fucking do nothing. It was those two motherfuckers. Boy, I, if I if 
I had their blood type, I would have given you it up. Gave it everything. But, yeah, yeah. Yeah. but it's just one but of those. But they did like, you dirty. They did. They brought it on themselves. They yeah. did yeah, you dirty. Yeah, you're, you're going down. They just, were dragging fucking, you into their bullshit yeah, for no and reason. I, no, Fuck we them. were all together because they were trying uh, to use me as an alibi. Going, no, I was with him the whole time. But they got the emblems that y'all stole. Yeah, and yeah. I'm like. Bro, you can't, don't, I, you were with me the whole time. You can't been with me the whole time because I wasn't stealing shit. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm recovering from an LSD trip right now, and I just won't be left alone. <laughs> you remember the, uh, I won't say shit. The, you remember the uh, trip I took through Boquillas Canyon? I went canoeing. From, oh, yeah. Okay, with some friends. Oh, and a, this is a great story. And a dude, uh, I, a dude and his girlfriend came on the trip that I didn't know. So it was like three dudes, this other chick, and then this couple. And... We, we're going to canoe for five days, and I know where we're going, but we're going on the Mexico border, and oh, okay. getting down there is not that big of a deal, but coming back is you don't want anything on you. So this dude had brought some hash, and we all everybody smokes around the fire or whatever, but the dude brought it. This is your, this your shit. And, and I was very vocal about the fact that we would go through a uh, checkpoint on the way home. Don't anybody bring any shit, because whatever you got, do it here. Yeah, because we about to drive through some shit. shit. Yeah, and then everybody gets in two separate cars. In fairness, though, that Mokia's checkpoint used to be the dirtiest place in the world. You can bring back, you can bring back. Didn't matter what. Maybe so, but I knew where we were headed, and I fall asleep in the front seat. And next thing I know, I wake up to the sound of some old Mexican dude going, "You guys are gonna have to get out of the car." And I'm like, "Hold, <laughs> oh hold up, God. man!" <laughs> so it's me and the driver, and then this couple in the back seat. Yeah. And they pull us all back, and I feel good. I'm like, whatever they're checking for, check it, homie. Here's the keys. Here's my bag. I'll open everything up. What you want? So they go through the car. We're all sitting in the waiting room. They got us in there forever. And I'm just sitting here peacefully because I know it's not me. And they come back, and they're like, look what we found. And it's like a third of a gram of hash. It's not even measurable. Yeah. But he's got it, and it's in the same tin in the same container that this jack wagon since yeah. had the whole time. And I just stand there. And the guy's like, whose is this? I don't know, sir. Yeah. Don't know what to tell you. And he moves down the line. And everybody just, I don't know what to tell you, sir. And I just keep looking down at this dude, and his girlfriend is twitching. And she's like, can I just go pee? And the cop is not letting any of As soon as y'all tell me what's going on, we can sort out where everybody's going. And she's still wobbling, and everybody's denying it, and I'm just kicking it. And then this girl proceeds to piss all over herself. Oh, my God. She, she's wearing khaki pants that turn a darker, darker shade of brown from the groin oh, on out. Oh, poor baby. And she ends up standing in a puddle of her own pee. <laughs> and I'm giggling. I'm making dolphin sounds. Yeah. yeah. I can't fucking breathe at this point. And I'm waiting for this dude to crack. I'm like, just one of you. Yeah, somebody <laughs> say something. One of you. I'm not going to do it. But someone get this girl out of this pee. And finally, that dude just goes. It's mine, officer. And I go, thank God, can yeah. we leave? <laughs> <laughs> and he goes, you can go and you can go. The P girl and this guy got to <laughs> The P <pee> girl. <laughs> well, we weren't going to let her ride in the car anyway. <laughs> that's, exactly that's exactly what I said. I was like, we're going to, y'all got this? <laughs> Yeah, we, we fucking peeled off, and I drove home that night with what it was, yeah. They ever make I it was, home? Do you know? Uh, so uh, they did eventually. I don't know what the ultimate char charges were, but he had to go back and deal with all that uh, shit. It was, a, yeah, it was a drug charge. I did the fucking Valley, right? And um, I hang out That's the way with... that should always be said. <laughs> You're right. Did it like I did time. the fucking Valley. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hanging out with fucking Mario five, Salazar six. and Raymond Orton, oh, which, what do they do? They just they smoke weed constantly, right? Raymond Orton well, is the most giant Mexican I've ever met. We had booked huge. Salazar to do Sherlock's right after the my trip to the Valley. So he was like, "Hey man, can I just ride back with you?" And I was like, "Cool." We hit that fucking checkpoint. Dog comes around and they're just like, "Get out of the car." And I look at Salazar. I'm like, "Bro, did you fucking?" Bring your dope in my car. He's like, no, 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 no. But, you know, I let people smoke in my car. I don't care because the weed smell goes out quicker than cigarettes does. Mm -hmm. You know, and I got leather seats. It doesn't stay. Mm -hmm. So the dog is just smelling weed. I'm like, you got shit in here, Bob? Like, no, no, we don't. And he's like, y'all smoke weed? And I looked at him and I go, I don't. And Salazar goes, yeah, me neither. And I'm like, hey, bro. <laughs> I'm like, come on. Just, just tell him. What if he's got to own up to this? <laughs> I'm like, just tell him because the dog smelled it. I'm like, just tell him. Like, yo, I got high last night. Like, I go, Getting high last night is not a crime, yeah. and and it was one of those where I'm, I'm I feel the snitch switch about to fucking flip the snitch switch the snitch switch about to flip. Boy, that is some 
poetic shit right there. Yeah. But when he pulls me in, this dog is in the back seat of my car or whatever. And, and and Mario said he didn't have nothing. And so I was just like, I was like, yeah, fuck it, what? So I started hanging with these dudes. But like two years before, when I released my my stupid album, Where's My Damn Cake or whatever, I came down there. And when I was coming back, I was fucked up. And they were like, you look like you've been drinking. I was like, look, I'm a comedian. I did a show uh, down at McAllen. And I reached out, I grabbed one of my CDs, and I handed it to the dude. And I was like, see, here's the album. I just made this. And so we're sitting there, and we're all kind of cracking jokes and shit. Because I'm like, I know I'm Ryan Clean. I'm, I'm just going to have fun with this shit, whatever. Mm. And uh, at some point, mm. there was like, hey, keep talking. They go, yeah. You're the fucking cake guy. <laughs> <laughs> and they go, yeah, we sit around here bored. We listen to the album. You're pretty fucking funny. And, like, and they don't find nothing. And they leave. And they're like, so yeah, here's your CD back. I was like, no, burn copies. Give it to everybody. <laughs> Ignore <laughs> track number seven about the weed. <laughs> <laughs> fucking two years later, Raymond Orther calls me and goes, hey, I need you to come down to South Padre and do the show. Uh, Customs and Border Patrol is doing the Christmas party. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, so I did, I did that party. I was like, how many of you guys know me as the cake guy? Yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. How many of you know me as the almost went to jail with Mario Salazar guy? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he, he just, the, the car smelled like I'd be afraid to say that dude's name in front of law enforcement. <laughs> but especially if you put the superstar in it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but like the, the car smelled like it. He smelled like it. Our luggage smelled like it. It's cool. But when he was like, yeah, I don't smoke weed either. I was like. Bro, just tell them. There's nothing they can do if you just go, yeah, I smoke, but I don't have nothing on me. It's fine. Me and Chris Shaw bought a bag of weed down there from the, the first American Inn or whatever the hell. Oh, that, yeah. You know America's what I'm best value in. It was like a giant oh. bag of weed, right? <laughs> <laughs> and we smoked it for three days. Did All we did from was the guy who worked the counter. Yeah, the, no, yeah. the guy. That did you have it, one working hand? When we first got there, there's this very large white girl in a swimsuit swimming in the pool, right? So, yes. And okay. we pull up, and we get out. So you're hard. And there's this. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> fair, fair. But, bro, she was out of my weight class. Oh my god. Oh, yeah. okay. so fair, she was fair, trying to get fair, out of the pool. What was happening here? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know how Chris felt yeah. about her. She wasn't swimming in the pool. She was displacing the pool. Yeah. She was displacing the pool. <laughs> right? the, the pool was it swimming was one, you. It's that little bitty bean one right there in front. And, and that she dude, was trying to show Trey how boats work. Yeah. <laughs> My name is Buoyancy. <laughs> stripper, name. stripper name. <laughs> My name is Buoyancy. 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 Buoyancy rolls. Buoyancy rolls. Oh, oh my god! Oh. That guy's sitting in the drive-through. Oh. We pull up. Oh my god! We get out of the car, walk up to him. He points at that girl. He goes, "Y'all want to buy some pussy?" <laughs> and me and Chris are like, uh, "No, man, we're we're good on the pussy." Yeah. You know? And he goes, "Y'all want to buy some weed?" And we're like, "Yeah, well, yeah, we could actually use some weed." Yeah. He goes, "All right, twenty-five dollars. You guys want to buy some towels?" <laughs> <laughs> Does the hotel not have? No, you're going to have to buy towels. We want towels. <laughs> we had to buy our towels in the driveway of the American Best That's Festival. the worst hotel that's ever oh, hotel. Oh, my God. We smoked that shit for three days. We are like driving down the road, smoking it. You, you couldn't get high. You can smoke it high. right in the lobby. Yeah. No one even gives nobody a cares. Shit. And so we were leaving, and we're almost <laughs> to that checkpoint. And Chris goes, am I really about to fuck around and go to jail over cactus, over ground up cactus yes. powder? Oh, and, yeah. and I was like, no. And I just opened the bag. And stuck it out the pasture window. I was like 60. You got to smash that girl, though, Jerry. <laughs> Bro, I ain't got enough gear to smash that. That, that girl requires equipment what I wasn't equipped with. She, she was going to smash Jerry. You ever, <laughs> you, ever try, you ever tried to get a screw out of something, but you, you, your, your thing won't, your screwdriver won't go Won't quite reach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You got You're the like wrong a, deal. Yeah. Bro, oh, you need somebody to get up in nooks and crannies. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, my Probably God. Probably somebody small would be better <laughs> off. You know, the, That's just, fun. What I'm oh. picturing is just somebody so big. She was very that large. Jerry wouldn't fuck him. That you... <laughs> <laughs> Fuck her flat-footed in the bed, like you yeah. can just, just, just yes, like, yes, probably yes. 
Beaten. I mean, yeah, I don't know you <laughs> yeah. what you're fucking. I don't know, yeah, but oh, yeah. you just, you this isn't this. anal, but it's also not vaginal. Yeah, it, it's, 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 <laughs> this could be a thigh. It's a. Uh, this is a whole new thing. It's, it's like called McDonald's butt nuggets. It's, it's just butt. white meat particles. Is what you. <laughs> The fact that he even asked you, you want to buy some pussy? Like, come on. Nobody wants to buy that. That's, yeah. Is it on the way? Well, I feel <laughs> like he had sold it before. <laughs> you know what I mean? You won't go get the pussy. The <laughs> but, but the domestic pussy, I'm not fucking with. I feel like the <laughs> pussy was there because he had sold it before. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I remember no. that hotel. That's the we we won't tell that story. It's the hotel. It's the, I oh, broke yeah. a it's the same one hand. where you. But yeah, also the killed first, the, dude. Yeah. the first room they gave me in that hotel, the first key. I went to the room and I opened the door. And when I went in, it was it was it was acapado. <laughs> it was there was not a person in it. There shit was there, but there was someone's stuff all in it. And there was a burning bowl of something that was putting out smoke. It could have been incense. It could have been legal papers. I don't know what. But <laughs> the room was smoky. And, and when you walked in, you could see people's shit. But you went, hello? And it just echoed into the nothing. <laughs> and then I shut the door again, and I took the key back to the criminal at the front desk, and I said, this, I need a different room. Like you said, criminal. Yeah. Because <laughs> they're the ones who tried to break into the room. But then they the took us to stay in Isaac's compound, which was equally scary. <laughs> I, I love it there. <laughs> only oh, I loved weird, it the though. first day. I'm weird. It got weird the second day. I only like it because I knew Isaac, and he had a very eclectic house full of art and music. But at the end of the day, when I say yes to a stand-up gig, I agree to do that in exchange for money and a reasonable place to stay yeah. that I could possibly sleep, perhaps, or yeah. not drunkenly play bongo drums until four in the morning. Or, or watch a guy drink red wine and scream at his fucking wait staff and, like, it, yeah, four so in the morning. None of that was, yeah, it's, uh, if I went the Pete Prelly experience, I'd just go back to the laugh stop. <laughs> okay, like, if I had to do a whole week of the, 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 the crazy bongos and all that, yes, but, like, Cena Ray was, like, one night, and I, and I'm, I'm kind of weird, so, like, when y'all walk in, I see all the fucking sugar skulls and all the crazy decorations, and then these motherfuckers are sitting there smoking weed playing bongos, I'm like, these are my people yeah, <laughs> so, 100%. yeah. And then I like it, was, to, it was a lot of fun the first day yeah and then i like to leave and go back to my room and fall asleep <laughs> thinking wow what a fun time but we i were, had Haley, J- weed Haley and jade was there at the same oh, time that psychopath. there was a it was it was a cross section we woke the, up at one night like three o'clock in the morning all this racket going on downstairs and you go down there and there's isaac and his brother and all his little entourage, and they're all hammered. And there's red wine all over the floor and broken bottles. And Tommy Chong and Shelby <laughs> are there inexplicably. And yeah. Tommy's not doing the gig. Me and Chris Shaw are doing the gig. Yeah. But he Tommy Chong's there. there yeah. And they're all, everybody's fried. And they've got music going. And it's some, like, animalistic, up-tempo, heavy, percussive kind of. It's like shaking the house. And he's like, oh, did I wake y'all? Perhaps. The cool thing about that is, man, he would keep you up to 4 o'clock in the morning doing all that. But at some point, if you got the right night, he would cook. And the guy could cook his oh, yeah, yeah, ass yeah. off. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the I've ever had in my life. <laughs> you, were, you were like, you know what? It's worth it. I'm not going to sleep. But, but don't fucking get- hell. When I remember playing C. Nail Ray, I had a heckler in the crowd who was the most loud, obnoxious chick I've ever Whoa. dealt with in my life. I shut her down. And when it was all done, I'm in the green room backstage. She comes barging back into the green room. And I am instantly, like, on the defensive. Turns out, one, she's just trying to have sex with me. Two, she is uh, the daughter of one of the cartel leaders uh, in, on the Mexican <laughs> side. And... Oh. I, I once I found all that out, oh. I just kind of people went wasn't corporate. Sex with her. No, we all, <laughs> I ended up leaving. I ducked out of the. Uh, we went to the, some after hours bar party, something or another, and I remember ducking out of that. Did y'all show. also on that run do the Westlaco show with in the Paradise in the, oh, Bar in the Roadhouse with all ghetto. the oh. Mexican mafia and my shit? Fa- no, the Bandidos. Bandidos. Uh, Bandidos. That's Bandidos. What it was. That was my favorite fucking gig on the planet. They uh-huh. loved me. They absolutely loved me. I almost died there. I did well times. there. Uh, they weren't as friendly to Chris. Yeah. So <laughs> we, 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 oh, we ducked out of they, there. They found out he wasn't me. Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> well, they, yeah there that was, was a scary, scary gig. There was a scary gig. Oh, dude, dude, you don't know. So we, me and Chris Shaw always got... Mistaken like, for each other? You look like this guy and Chris Shaw. Yeah. 
the one week. And they don't look anything alike. They just at all. Got locks. Not, not facial features, not, features, not just, body just build. Not even the just same locks. They just had not dreadlocks. The they so both the just had dreadlocks. We had never met okay. like you face to face, but we always got this all the time. I was doing the Shreveport <laughs> Funny Bone. I was at the Shreveport Funny Bone, and he was there the next week. And uh, at the end of my show, right before I did my merch push, I was like, Hey man, thanks for coming out and supporting this club. Blah, blah, blah. They bring you all some really, really hot comps. Like, Next week, you got a dude named Chris Shaw coming. Uh, dude's funny as fuck. I've never met him, but people always say we look alike because he's just a black guy with dreads. I go, I need all you motherfuckers to come back next week. And afterwards, he sells shit and just go, Hey man, what happened? You were so much funnier last week. <laughs> what a prank. Wow, <laughs> that's good. <laughs> Bro, what a prank. Talk about he, pranks. That's I good. I didn't think anybody would do it. My first message I ever got from Chris Shaw was real funny, motherfucker. Yeah. On Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta prank somebody. Really funny. I was like, just told him, you were really, you were so much funnier last week. And uh, 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 fuck, there was, um, oh, McAllen. So I just did Calgary, right? And my flight out of Calgary was last night at 7 p.m. I get to Toronto at 1 a.m. My flight leaving Toronto isn't until 6 a.m. And, uh, you know, I got status, so I got one of the fucking Loud economy people. pluses, and I got I got uh, uh, an aisle seat, middle seat's empty. Lady has the window seat. You know, she wants to strike up a conversation, and I'm like, you got, like, 10 minutes before I'm asleep. Um, okay. And so I asked her, I was like, so you going home to Houston or you visiting Houston? She was like, well, Houston's a kind of a waypoint for me. She was like, I actually live here in Canada, but... Uh, my company is sending me down to Texas. And I was like, oh, so y'all got an office here? She goes, no, we got an office in McAllen. I was like, oh. I go, have you ever been? She goes, no. I go, well, you're you're going to Mexico. She goes, well, yeah, so we've we've got an office in McAllen, but we've got a facility in Reynosa, and we're going to go visit yeah. that. And I go, have you ever? She was like, no, been to Reynosa, this is my first lady? time ever Jesus being Christ. in the States. And I was like, <laughs> Well, Reynosa's got all kinds of facilities. Yeah, huh? just yeah. wait. Yeah. I was like, I was like, you, you, you poor Canadian angel. I'm like, I won't fucking go to Reynosa. Um, we, Somebody we, invite you to a facility called Boys Town. Say yeah. no. <laughs> Say no. We cross once, right? Uh, uh, and and you this do is, it all the time. We we did it, right? And then they told well, us I worked no down there for like, like seven it months. Like, it was noon, and we're like, yo, it's kind of safe. And this is the way I work, especially if you give me a warning. Uh, we hit this place. We we ate what we thought was dog. Um, I bought a pack of... We didn't think it was dog when we first ate it. We I later. You. After yeah, you was like, yeah I think it was that one was bite, dog. but we I were still you. hungry as fuck. It was dog. Um, later, he farted and smelled like Alpo. And he was like, <laughs> what the hell? Was, Did we just eat dog? Y'all was looking for dog, and we were like, we thought we <laughs> ate dog. <laughs> it, it was out beef. It smelled like yeah. burrito. <laughs> Goat. The Alpo would have been better. <laughs> I bought a pack of what I thought was Cuban cigars. Turns out they just put the Cohiba sticker on these bullshit Dutch masters. It was fucking so bad. But we were oh, walking, man. we were hitting up a couple of things in Reynosa, and then at some point, I looked at Slate, and I go, hey, you see those five dudes on the corner behind us? He's like, yeah. I go, they have been following us. And Slate goes, I'll fucking let them follow. I go, yeah, but 30 minutes ago, there were only two of them. Because oh, I keep my head on a swivel, period. Yeah. I was like, yeah, there were only two of them. And I was like, we, we should just get the fuck back across the border. And then when we were in Cairo, uh, we all go out, we get fucked up in Cairo. We get into this cab. Who took us to the market in Cairo, and it was quick. We get in this cab to go back. I'm in the fucking. I'm 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 riding shotgun. There's four of them in the back seat singing songs, whatever. There's three, and then there's one laid over him. And this dude is taking all these turns and shit, and he's looking at his GPS. He takes one turn off of his GPS, and I just grab his steering wheel because he's on the phone <laughs> speaking in Arabic. And I grab his steering wheel. I'm like, we are that way. And everybody else is still back there having fun. But this fool's spidey sense goes off. It's like, oh shit. <laughs> he's like, he's like, Sam's about to choke this motherfucker. Cause dude, I don't fuck around. When you're yeah, out there, yeah. I see one yeah, thing yeah. that don't look right. And I'm like, shit ain't again, adding up. Again, <laughs> embassy. I will call embassy, but you will go hospital. And bro, I that, maintain that Sam has a hillbilly in his brain. <laughs> <laughs> Sam's inner voice yeah. sounds just like this. <laughs> hey, shit ain't adding up. Grab that fucker by the throat. That, <laughs> he's got traffic controls in his head. That Google map said this way, and this fucker started going this way, and I, boom! I just grabbed the steering wheel. I was like, uh-uh. 
But the thing is, you get there, there's a concrete divider. You had to go that way. Oh, he and had to, to like, do that. that. Like, so but funny. I just grab a steering wheel, and this guy is about to shit himself. Because <laughs> I'm looking right out, just like, motherfucker, I, you, yeah. I will feed you this fucking steering wheel. <laughs> <laughs> and my job is to sit up and put the situation in check yeah. before I have to, one, figure out how to hide a body in Egypt. <laughs> and two, and get me drive this <laughs> stupid car back to the hotel myself. <laughs> Don't bury him with his GPS. We need that. <laughs> <laughs> That's what everybody's like, oh, be careful over there. Oh, I'm careful, motherfucker. I'm careful as fuck. <laughs> so funny, dog. Golly, me and Kenji had a similar thing happen. Nobody grabbed a wheel. But, like, we had paid, you know, whatever. You just paid for an Uber. I don't know what the guy was doing. I don't know what had happened. But he, like, he just, like, dropped us off in this, uh, <laughs> he had dropped us off, like, in this, we like 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 a fucking taken uh warehouse thing. Like oh, yeah. it looks like Call of Duty level. Taken. Yeah. yeah. Like it's just open and shit like that. Yeah. And um so Kenji he was looking, he was like, Is this good? And <laughs> Kenji was like, Yeah, if, if you would just follow the rest of the GPS, <laughs> he goes, You can see it's still blue. Like there's still yep. shit stuff to, to do. go do. And he was like, Oh, and then he and then he he looked back at us and it was weird. It was kind of like, oh, these are guys. And, uh, it, and that's what clicked. And uh, that's what it looked like. like. Oh, these are guys. And then he just went and he dropped us off. And I was just saying, I was like, thank you, Kenji, for saying something because I would have just got out and walked. And hoofed Like, it. I don't like confrontation. I would have just walked the other 15 <laughs> minutes. Like, fuck it. This is where he dropped me off at. I want no problem. He's active. He got blood in his body. That- oh, my <laughs> <friend>. <laughs> You gonna take me exactly yeah, what I know you I could. You <laughs> that that gonna look that like been a ninety-year-old or a nine-year-old Uber uh, driver. What, exactly. I would have yelled. Yeah, if you'd have been ninety, I'd be like, bro, you got look, you old motherfucker. <laughs> finish the route. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I ain't saying nothing. But Sam, you got all them shoulders. <laughs> I, I just was out. I wasn't having it that night. <laughs> you even got to grab the, You can faint. I grab it. They were like, oh, I'm sorry. I'll drive correctly. I apologize. I think we've all proven we are uh, capable of defending ourselves, even if it's with a prank uh, in revenge. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's yeah, weird. I'll hide your wigs. <laughs> Quite, <laughs> the only, the only, I'm not a pranker either, but the only thing I really, I used to do shit to get back at people. And I'll say this before we get out of the episode, because um, I've looked up the statute of limitations and now it's legal. Uh, the when I was at the radio station I used yeah. to work at, the guy who fired me when when Clear Channel took over, and I should preface this by saying, uh, part of what you had to do in the radio station at the end of the night, you'd have to check the levels of the transmitter. So there was a log book you'd have to call in, press a series of buttons that beeped and whizzed to the transmitter. It would give you a reading, and then you would write that down, put it in the book, and you could basically <laughs> operate the transmitter via that phone. Uh, so I had all of the instructions for that because we needed it every night. Well, I got fired, and the guy who took over my slot running the top eight at eight, doing the seven to midnight shift, he would he would go to do the top eight at eight, and I would get so angry, I'd turn off the radio. And then one day I'm driving, and I had it on, I'm listening, and he got to about number three, and I went, wait a second. This doesn't require that phone. It just requires a phone. So I pulled over to the gas station, <laughs> I called the transmitter from the payphone, and I waited until he went, well, that was the number two song and the number one song, and I went, boop, boop, and then I shut the radio station down. (laughs) 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 Boom. Whole thing. (laughs) And I could hear it in my car. And then I just get back in and drive away. (laughs) Oh, my God. Kids, we want to be clear. The statute of limitations doesn't mean this is legal to do now. No, you can't do it now. But <laughs> it just the, means that the fact he did it a long time ago the, don't matter. <laughs> the, the FCC violations, I'm sure, were grand. <laughs> I'm sure that shutting down yeah. a public broadcast system during what could have been a state of emergency, all of the reasons all I the know reasons it was why. wrong. Yeah. It's all but fun was, and games until we walk outside so and there's funny. dudes in windbreakers out there. <laughs> <laughs> It would not be the first time. Uh, I'm going to look over like, you going to do the right thing? <laughs> <laughs> they were with me. Speak Every up. One of them Speak was up. <laughs> Every, trade on P on yourself. Yeah, right. this is, it was, no, it was, uh, it was it, this was 1996. If you're going to peg me for something I did when I was whatever that's age, great, come though. get me. Oh my God, but so I, I did it like three oh, nights in a row. Houston will peg so. you for anything you did. Don't worry that's about <laughs> that. That's so good. It was, uh, that's, that's the closest I ever came to really pranking people. Yeah, you, you, that's bonus points on the way out. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> 10.53 in the can. Chicken, thank
thank you for all your work. You're doing the Lord stuff backstage. Uh, you guys, uh, click subscribe on the YouTube channel. There's new content or clips going up almost every single day. Some of the best of moments from some of the best of shows. Also clips from Is This Thing On, a show we did a couple of seasons of back in the day. Uh, but go find all of us online. we got comedy specials and clips and everything individually. Jerry Wayne Longmire, Trey Tutson, Sam Damaris. I'm Slade Ham. We'll see you on another episode of the Whiskey Brothers Podcast. I believe in good whiskey.